Hello everyone, this is again Karen Swart from Jesus to My Rescue Ministries and it's a blessing to be with you again today. I don't know about you, but I get so excited about the Word of God and I simply cannot get enough. You know, when I read a passage like this morning, I'm, I'm reading from Matthew 26 in my, in my quiet time and I, and I hit a verse um, and it just speaks to me in the Spirit. And I want to share this with you. And I can read the same piece tomorrow and it just triggers something else in the spirit. So you see, that's why the word of God is alive and active and we can just take it in all the time. I think you can hear my excitement. So let me share with you the verse that I received this morning. Because this is coupled to my message that Jesus Christ is also Lord of the future. Now we know that because Jesus is alive and he's paving the way for us in heaven. So we know that, but do we know it? Do we understand what it says? Let me read to you the verse that really blessed me this morning. And it is from Matthew 26, verse 18. Now let's go one step back in verse 17. This is the Last Supper and they are preparing for the Passover meal. And so his disciples ask Jesus, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? And he replied, go into the city. To a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. And it happened exactly like that. Now, why was I so blessed with that verse this morning? It says, the teacher says, um, go into the city to a certain man and tell him. My appointed time is near. You see, Jesus was already ahead of the disciples. That man that they had to go and speak to already knew that this message, when it hits his house, that he already knew that Jesus was coming because he opened his home, he opened his house. It, it just blessed me this morning, a certain man. Do you realize what this means? It doesn't matter whether we are uncertain of where tomorrow's meal will come from or will we have enough work to earn a salary by the end of the month. Jesus is saying he's going before you and he's already made a way for you. As long as you are on this earth facing life at a time such as this, you have to know that your master goes before you and prepares a way for you. You will not go to bed hungry. You will not be defeated in any way. As long as you have breath and you are on this earth for His purpose, you will be provided for and He will make a way. All He's asking you is to trust Him. You see, in our life, we have become so content with what we have and that we're going to earn a salary at the end of the month and this is our pension fund. We've worked towards these things. But there are people living day by day, not sure where their next meal is going to come from. We read about the locust that is just going through Africa and just eating the crops. And that is every day's food for people. There is no pension fund. There is no savings account. They only have God to rely on. And I realized again, God, let us understand when you say that you will care for us, you will care for us. And that, yes, we can plan and, and yes, we can work towards a future. And if you can have a savings plan, then I'm happy for you. And that's great. But let us not become overwhelmed with those things. Let us be overwhelmed with who our God is that says, you know, where we will eat tonight, God has already sorted it out. So, Father, I say thank you for this promise and word. I want to also encourage you a little bit further in the same chapter. Jesus goes on and he has to face the fact that he's going to be arrested and crucified. Now, Jesus still asked his father. He said, if it's possible, Father, may this cup be taken from me, yet as you will, not my will. And further down, he asks it again, but in a different way. He actually says, my father, if it's not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. 
You see, Jesus actually already had the answer. He knew what had to happen. We have the word of God. We know what's going to happen. We know that the end times are coming closer. We know that God says that it's not going to be easy. And we can ask him like he asked his father in that moment when he was sorrowful and maybe feeling a little bit weak. He asked his father. And although his father said, no, my son, you know what is the plan. He then said, let your will be done. We can ask our father when we feel weak, when we feel, Lord, we cannot do this. We can ask him, let this pass us by. But in some moments, God might say, no, my son, no, my daughter, you have to work through this, but I will be with you. No one better to be with you than Jesus Christ, who understands what it feels like in a moment of uncertainty, in a moment of fear. He knows what it feels like, and he is your strength. So he promises to go with you through every challenge, knowing that he's the Lord of the future, that he's already made the way for you. So don't be concerned about tomorrow. Let it go as God has planned. And where we need to pray for God, pray then, Lord, if something's happening that's not in its time according to your word, change that, Lord. And whatever it is that I need to face today, give me the strength, give me the courage, give me the wisdom and the understanding to go through it. And thank you for your provision because I will lack nothing, nothing, because your love has paved the way for me. Now, how do we stand strong? What do we do? Look at this, what Jesus says. He says, this is verse 41, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Let's pray. Jesus Christ, we worship you. We praise you. You are our Lord and Savior. Thank you for this promise this morning that you go before us and make a way for us. That nothing, nothing, nothing will change the fact that you are with us. You will provide for us every single day. We will not be alone having to go through all the trials that are lying ahead of us in this difficult world. Thank you that this morning we pray, Lord, if things are happening outside the time plan of your word, let it fall back into the time plan in Jesus' name. Let us not be rattled by what we see and what we hear, for if we know your word, we know what is coming. Let us rather focus on having a personal relationship with you, Jesus Christ, the one who feeds us, protects us, and goes before us, paving the way. Today, I choose with my fellow believers, brothers and sisters in Christ, to say, we trust you, Jesus. You know exactly how we feel. We trust you. Help us to be strong in the spirit. Help us to fast. Help us to pray so that we will not fall into temptation, but that we will choose right in the spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed by this word. Lots of love. Bye-bye.